This is what a cinema looked like in 1908. This is what a 1980s VHS videotape looked like. Now this is what a cinema looked like in 2005. Now this is what a standard DVD looks like. In the last hundred years man has invented the television the computer and the mobile phone and many more other inventions. Hey what's going on YouTube it's Boost Tech here and today I'm going to be just talking to you about why uh, cinema quality is just so grainy. So well, not many years ago, <laughs> uh, it seems a bit uh, ridiculous. Uh, a few years ago, when I used to go to the cinema, say back in 2005 6, uh, the last film I went to see in that round about that time uh, was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which I'm sure you all know, The Chronicles of Narnia. And it, the film was good, the film was good, but the quality of the cinema was absolutely appalling. Um, now I, I own the DVD and I've watched that numerous amount of times and the quality is always superb even to this day and age and I stand a, and I stand a DVD the quality is always superb however when I went to go and see at the cinema the amount of grainy image the flickering it was absolutely terrible and I paid good money to go and see it as well and you know you, you'd think over the last hundred years from since uh, cinemas have been going you'd think that the quality would have definitely improved by that by now it's only in the last recent few years that they've only turned up with uh, HD, um, HD uh, quality such as 4K resolution, uh, iSense 3D. Apart from that, this was all, you know, never heard of before. You just went to see a standard definition cinema quality film and that was it really. And the image was also always, always, always so grainy. There was always so much flickering. You, you always see these bits on the screen which was so annoying. You used to just distort the image and you, you weren't really enjoying um, that you know that that crystal clear image like you would from a DVD or even a videotape. So I, I, in the past, I, I really used to prefer just you know waiting until the DVD came out and just you know just watching it uh, in good quality rather than uh, paying money to go into the cinema. Uh, it would probably cost the same amount to buy it on DVD the first time uh, to go and see it in just to be at the cinema just say I've gone to see the cinema I've gone to the cinema to watch the film. Because it, it, you, went, you went to the cinema, yes, it, it was a good experience, but the, watching the film, it just wasn't, you know, you go with all your friends, and you know, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good laugh, you know, you're there with the comfort of your friends, but they're just watching it, well, well for start you got to sit through all the 20 minutes of trailers, and all that, all that's in the same grainy uh, image quality, but I'm not sure, I'm going to take a wild guess and, and, and try and figure out why they, they actually done this, and one of my theories was that, Maybe it's only up until now they're, ma they're making more use of ICT and computers and now doing it digitally. I think before they used to still run it on the, the film type of reel. So it ran constantly and, and as the film does it's, uh, you know, it's, that, it's got that kind of, you know, same, it's like the same type of plastic they use on uh, uh, finger, fingerprint, um, the same sheet, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's, just, it's a type of plastic anyway that gathers microfibers. 
And I think that's what the that, that's what the, the the actual film for the uh, cinema reel is made out of, and therefore I think that's why it gathers up so much dust. And then when it comes to be played on the reel and it's projected onto a large screen, all these dust particles seem the size of like you know rocks <laughs> on the screen. The screen is pretty big, as you all know, but that's probably why the image seems you know really distorted by all these bits of dust that pass through and you gotta think that these these reels have been passed from cinema to cinema and it's picking up dust to look through these old cinema projectors that have been here for like 50 years that are made you know real really made to last but i think now they're actually starting to make use of you know 3d projectors hd projectors now and i think these are starting to come in and you know take over and i think they're starting to pull out all these uh old old cinema uh, cinema projects that have been there for the past 50 60 years and they're deciding to uh, replace it with the new HD ones which I think makes perfect sense what concerns me that they have the only chosen to do that now not you know pff, at least 20 years ago at least put some updated you know um kind of projectors rather than maybe not HD but a bit more a bit more of, of a sustained uh, smooth uh, quality so um this has been boost tech here thank you for watching and Feel free to comment and say what's your opinion on it and, uh, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, so, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, have a pleasant day and bye for now.